All right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. As we're about to have today's video, we're here to talk about how to stop losing your badges in NBA 2K24. So, what I'm going to be talking about in today's video is all of these three things in this category right here: badge perks, floor setters, performance multipliers. So, I'm going to talk about what they do, how to get them, and how easy or hard some of them are, so you can focus on the best ones possible. So, I hope you all enjoy the video. If you do, for to drop a like, sub, if you're new to them, noties, all that good stuff, and like always, try to win 2,000 likes. I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing in the early game. It means a ton. We have been going crazy for the first couple of days of 2K24, and we've been playing really well, having a fun time out here as well. So, I finally got precision dunker at hall of fame now as you can see i have all of these perk slots available between c tier b tier a tier and s tier in every single thing except scholar now scholar is one that you're going to have to get through the season xp as you can see it's unlocked at level 38 for the s tier i believe a tier is like 31 or something like that maybe 29 i'm not exactly sure which so scholar is going to be a little bit behind anything else you do probably to be real with you unless you you know buy your way to the battle pass or if you happen to just be grinding a super amount like crazy ton but Anyway, let's talk about how to get them and what is best to use them as as well. So as far as how to get them, you can see right here, you're going to have a couple different people you're going to be talking to consistently between like gradually improving these tiers and stuff like that. So you have Josh Giddy for the overdrive immunity for Cade Cunningham, and then you got Red Thompson for the drill savant. Now, when you get to all the end, it'll be Donovan Mitchell. So you'll, you'll see it in the badge perks category when it comes to the side quest for the city. So just keep that in mind. As far as what you need to do with these though, you're gonna need, first of all, to get the, the overdrive in the, the C tier, I believe, you need four silver badges on your build, period. Simple as that. So what you need to do to achieve getting all these things started for progress is any build of yours, you need to have four silver badges and two golds. That will unlock all three of these to get started. And then once you get started with them, as you're gonna see, I'm gonna go over to Josh Giddy and we'll, start, we'll explain how this first one works right here. So. I go over to Josh Giddy, you're gonna have to find him, boom, you roll over to him. Now, as you're gonna see, I am finishing the A tier quest of this. You can go ahead and start all the way from C, obviously that's where you're gonna be at if you're watching this video. So again, just know you have to get four silver, two gold. That's all you gotta do on your bet on your builds, and that's just one build. It'll transfer over to all the rest. So I talk to Josh Giddy, I get overdrive. I'm gonna go ahead and show you now, like, and this is where I'm gonna suggest you guys, you wanna do these all in the exact same order. So the quest for A tier was to play 12 Pro-Am games. I had exactly that on all of them because I started them all at the exact same time. And then I would do my chores, quote unquote, all the exact same time as well. So when I would finish an A tier, I would go to Cade Cunningham, talk to him about the A tier. I would go to Josh Giddy, talk to him about the A tier, and then claim it, and then boom, now I'm starting the S tier one. So you're gonna see what I'm doing in this part is I'm gonna be going to the Cade Cunningham and the Red Time Thompson one and I'm gonna be claiming all of these all at the same time and then subsequently after that I am now starting the next one all at the same time as well so that when I get done with these 20 pro-am games which I'll show you in a minute the best method for this as well you'll be then wrapping them all up at the exact same time as well so again you can see I'm rolling over to the other side of the city where you're gonna go through this really un unnavigable area it's, it's actually kind of annoying how you got to go through here so many times but anyway talk to Kate Cunningham boom I get the immunity a tier so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the end of this where we end up getting it from Red Thompson as well but as you can see like so many back streets and like you know back roads whatever you want to call them like it's just really tough to get to all of them so now you can see I, I unlock all these slots and stuff right so that it's very convenient that there's they help a ton in terms of retaining your badges getting them quicker it's what really allowed me to get moving on things like clamps precision dunker uh, to really help you resist them going down by the way immunity i, I really do think completely resist them from going down at all i don't think it even slows it i think it truly stops them from ever going down from where they're at so at if you have four of these you can retain four badges at any level you want and if you're playing as a certain style like for instance for me i'm gonna be in more of like a pick and roller mode in sometimes and not as much of a slasher kind of dunker mode where i'm having the ball in my hands so when I can put things like Precision Dunker and Post Riser or Slithery on in those slots for immunity, it's really convenient. And if I'm going really hard on them as a slasher and I'm playing twos with like, let's say a stretch big or something like that, and I can take advantage of smaller matchups, I'm putting them in overdrive because I want to put more like pressure on those badges to actually be getting up. But anyway, as you can see, like I said, I talked to all those people in the same order. I got all my chores done before starting any games and then boom, now here we are. I can now play 20 Pro-Am games and just do it for all of them. As you can see, Drill Savant, Immunity, Overdrive, they're all 20 games, as long as you start them at the exact same time. So that's gonna be the major key. Now, 
What also comes with that naturally, I'll show you it in just a second here, you have got performance multipliers. So you'll see this for like affiliation stuff. So if you wanna play park for this, you absolutely can. It's just with this overdrive immunity and drill savant one, as you could see like in this clip before it, for the, for instance, like you need to play 40 games in, in you know, opposition to the pro-am one as well. So like with this, you have to have 20 games played with overdrive equipped to an A tier. So make sure when you guys are doing this, you actually equip those badges in that top slot that you can even if you're not doing drills put some random random drill badge for savant in the a tier so that you can actually get it into the s because you have to have them equipped like i just said but again 20 prime games or you can play 40 affiliation games aka park games and you have to have you know the badge equipped as well or you can play rec games too but 3v3 pro-am works for this so i've been playing 3v3 pro-am and what that's allowing me to do as well at the same time is you're able to get grade a student for pro-am as well look at this so after playing 20 games with a teammate grade of a minus or higher i now talk to tyrese halliburton and i'll be getting the grade a student for pro-am as well so we're gonna be like you know selecting that I'm gonna go move over to him on the quest as well but as you can see i'm almost there at winner takes all as well i got 28 out of 30 so you win some games, you have some high teammate grade while you're playing the 3v3 Pro-Am to get these Drill Savant and the overdrive and the immunity and stuff like that. You're, you're multitasking, you're going crazy, you're doing a lot of good things for yourself and it's going to be really, really convenient. So run over and talk to Tyrese Halliburton. We're able to claim the, I believe, yeah, the grade A student right here. And again, the winner takes all would be directly after that. So now you can see right here how they work. They work specifically in the game modes. So NBA ones work in the NBA, city ones work in the city, rec ones work in the, in the rec, and then obviously pro-am ones work in the pro-am. So it really doesn't take too much of a great crazy explanation. As you can see, for the grade A student, if you finish with an A minus, teammate grade or higher, badge level progression will be accelerated. If you win the game, as you can see in pro-am, badge level progression will be accelerated. Now, mind you, again, you can play 5v5 rank pro-am. I really think this stuff is fire too. I'll come to the records and stuff and show you guys what we've been up to as far as 3v3 and, and 5v5 uh, rank pro-am. But I mean, honestly, it works for both of them too. So for threes and fives, it's a multitasking thing where you can play the two different game modes, but having this equipped right here of the winner takes all in the grade A student, it's working for both of them and it's gonna be really convenient for the way that you play. Now, up for the challenge is gonna be extremely hard, not to mention it rarely pops up in the first place. So it seems to be kind of useless in my opinion, at least for now. Maybe we'll see if in the future it ends up working well just because you know more people have what is deemed a tough opponent per se. But for now, it seems pretty useless to be with you guys. So now just to finalize things right here to show you how this worked. So I just finished it after that 3v3 prime game that we just ended right there so now donovan mitchell wants to talk to you about your drill savant skills you know immunity overdrive all that he, he's actually all three of them for that matter so i run over here talk to mitchell I, I was really rattled and like you know i was intrigued right here so the first time i just talked to him and i was like okay he's gonna give me all three of them together at the same time <laughs> so then i see overdrive pop up which overdrive s tier that's a that's a banger one right there bro overdrive immunity both go super hard drill savant pretty mid i'm not gonna lie it's not really that important however it will help for the certain specific type of badges that you maybe need a ton like let's say precision dunker i'll just move precision dunker over to the drill savant tier and go ahead and put that there temporarily while i'm doing the drill and then i'll move it back to overdrive or immunity whichever one i wanted it to use so as you can see you have to talk to him three separate times for some stupid reason don't really know but anyway you get all three of those right there and now as you can see i have all of them unlocked in these three categories and again scholar is unlocked through the season xp so just keep that in mind but anyway that is what you're looking at as far as this stuff goes. So now let me talk to you guys about like 3v3 Pro-Am and, and 5v5 Pro-Am. What is maybe the best method for you if you want to play like that? Or again, you could just play Park as well. It's a little bit slower. It's a little bit unfortunate. But if you and your boys, like they don't want to agree to play 3v3 Pro-Am or anything like that, they just want to play Park, you can stay in the Park too. It's fine. Because honestly, the other thing is too, if you end up just staying in the Park, I guess like you really would just get these in the city as well. And it'll be still pretty convenient for you. Now, I will say retaining an A minus teammate grade in like maybe specific game modes like that, depending on who you are, might be a little bit tougher. Not to mention winner takes all, obviously, you know, it depends on if you win. So <laughs> it's kind of subjective in that aspect as well. But it's not like Scholar where it's like, you know, boomer bust. Cause as you can see with Scholar, it's a little bit unfortunate how this works. And it's not even a very good one. I would say it's definitely the third, like overdrive's the best, immunity's the second best. And debatably, depending on what badges you're talking about, immunity can be the best depending on how you're playing but scholar as you can see in games finished like whether it's city rec and pro-am games finished with an a minus teammate grade or higher 
will give you extra badge points, like as in more progression. But a lower grade w than an A minus will result in no badge level progression at all. So just keep that in mind. It's not really like a great one to be real with you, but it's still nice to have there as an accessory, to be honest. But anyway, as far as the pro am, let's go ahead and show you guys this. So I want to tell you my reasoning behind not wanting to play rec. So we're actually six and zero in the rec, but problem being is if people quit out and this is this was at the time it was three days ago so it's possible they have changed this they've updated it i already told zach timmerman about it and i you know reported it to this uh like 2k channel that i am in the discord of and i wanted to let them know like hey th this like wreck stuff if people quit like sometimes you just take an l for it and you're like forcing them to quit and the game's ending early but then you don't even get the progression that you should be i mean you do get progression to the badges and stuff don't be wrong but you don't get the win which is kind of stupid if you ask me so it would appear that we have two losses on rec but that's just not the case so i personally like the idea of the pro-am runs personally i i mean as you can see i'm 57 and 4 in the in the 3v3 pro-am i'm 12 and 1 in the 5v5 pro-am those combine together in your quest to, to getting all the badge perks and stuff like that and obviously again the winner takes all and the uh, whatever the other one was called, I forget, of, of the 5v5 and 3v3 Pro-Am. So all that really applies. I, I think it's really good. If you want to play the city separately as well, you can still do that. Again, you need 50 wins to get that, and I'm getting close to that as well. So once you get all those unlocked, I mean, now you're in business. You can play anywhere you want. But as far as the 3v3 Pro-Am stuff, man, they give some pretty good VC in there, bro. Like if you do pretty well, you're looking at it like 1,200 VC a game. And that's for being player of the game with like an A teammate grade as well. But I believe if you keep ranking your team up, you're looking at even more and more VC. And let me just show you guys, like, for instance, the uh, let me see if I can find this really smooth and swiftly. So for Pearl M3 V3, if I go to the rewards tab right here, as you're going to see at bronze, you don't get anything at silver, though, you get 10% more rep at gold you get 25 percent more which is where we're where our team is at right now we unlocked this at 50 wins on the dot at platinum you get 50 percent more and at diamond you get two times rep at all times whenever you're playing this mode not to mention it's not like it was in the past where ranked only works between certain hour periods right now it's 24 7 ranked pro-am you can play this whenever you want for fives and for threes unfortunately there's different season rankings tabs so you're going to see like our team. I mean, bro, for 3v3 program, we're number 14 right now. And I think this is cool to be able to like, you know, kind of grind the team out a little bit and be able to just have something cool to like work for when it comes to this stuff. But as you can see, like a lot of these teams, some of these teams are really high up here as well. But as far as the 5v5, it splits up into a different record category. So with this one, we're, we're actually at silver with only 12 wins and you actually if you're curious as far as where you can go to like get certain uh rankings you can view other teams roster as you can see these guys are in the diamond tier with 40 wins uh, i will say though besides that they drop all the way off to the next one being 25 and it's gold so there are levels to this stuff as far as like if you are a team and you can assemble you and your boys that are going to be getting a lot of wins when you're playing this type of stuff it's going to be a big big deal it's going to be very easy for you to grind through However, I know obviously when it comes to ranked pro-am, not everybody's the greatest and assembling five people that are really good is kind of a tough thing to do sometimes. So it can be subjective as to if this is a good method or not, but at the end of the day, your other option is to play park where, you know, it's possible that you also won't really get a lot of wins in there either. So I'm just here to tell you, I, I think 3v3 pro-am competition is maybe a little bit easier than park. I, that's just my take on it. It's, it's possible that it's pretty even to be real with you, but it's ranked matchmaking you get more vc it's just a better place to play in my opinion you get games instantly there's no waiting for them either i, I love it i actually think this is a w mode it works for all like at all times and oh uh, yeah i mean that's just my take on it as well so 5v5 i'm i'm loving it ranked we were actually getting some really good matchups as far as like some comp as well which i like and you know my teammates like but maybe you know some people may not like quite as much but anyway that is pretty much all for video. I just wanted to give you guys a couple different alternative methods as to where you can play and how you can grind these types of things. But Pro-Am, easiest place to play as far as like 3v3 Pro-Am. You get the quest done quicker, as we already mentioned earlier, and it's, it's definitely the most efficient place to be. So check that out if you would like to. As far as what to do with these perks, I mean, I, I thought I kind of explained it pretty well. 
you know you're gonna want to really make sure that you put some of these in in spots that you're gonna really need them for instance with brick wall on my slasher I want this to be worked on when I was playing with Bonnie as like a point guard and I'm gonna be able to be grinding the brick wall while doing that movable enforcer I wanted to put this on to be able to get a little bit more progress as well now this right here I have it in the silver so debatably I could go ahead and just put this in the immunity tab now now that I actually went through a whole run right there and grinded it so boom we'll go ahead and put that there and then in the B tier now and Instead, how about we just put 94 feet? Because Scholar, as I mentioned, is something that you're not going to get any progress for if you get less than that teammate grade requirement. So 94 feet now put in the overdrive. Precision Dunker, I also should move. I'll do this on my own time as well, but you guys get what I'm saying. Like now that I have Anchor uh, equipable at the silver level because I got my ratings able to get there, I should definitely swap Anchor and Precision Dunker. So matter of fact, we'll just do that because I'll show you guys how easy it can be. So now Precision Dunker at Hall of Fame sitting right here, maxed out for that matter too on the Hall of Fame level. <laughs> that's, that's fire for sure. But maxed out, we have it at the Hall of Fame level in the immunity tab now. And yeah, anything that you get that's a high level that you don't want to go down or maybe like for instance, Whistle for instance too. Like, you know, if I'm playing a park mode, that's going to be a little bit harder to retain it and I, you know, I'm going to be getting less foul calls, then you can just put it in the immunity tab as well. C tier, obviously it depends on what build you are. The 6 eights have pretty tough badge tiering when it comes to all this stuff, but anyway, you'll be able to figure this all out on your own time. Feel free to inspect it, be very analytical about it, and if you have any more questions, feel free to just leave them in the comments. I'm sure more people will be willing to help, or myself as well. So anyway, that's all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, for to drop a like, sub if you're new to them, noties, all good stuff, and like always, try just one of 2,000 likes. Made it to the end of the video. Put badge perk or put performance in the comments. Search for it to my way through. I didn't talk about floor setters, but honestly, they're pretty self explanatory. You just put badges in here that are going to be hard to get. For me, it's slithery that I'm going to be waiting on to put in this gold tier when I get to that level 40. Because, bro, slithery's broken, challenger's broken. There's a bunch of badges that literally don't work for progression. I'm sure you guys have heard about Impluckable if you're a guard and stuff like that, too. It's looking greasy out there, bro. So I've once again brought that to some developers' attention. And thankfully, they've given me that platform and opportunity to actually tell you, like, you know, help with uh, learning, like, you know, teaching them about stuff like that or telling them about stuff like that that the community's struggling with. So anyway, that's all for video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, for drop a like, all, sub if you knew all that good stuff. We already went over that. But anyway, <laughs> that's all. I hope you all enjoyed and take it easy, man. Peace.